policy, <laughs> you can keep it, right? You want 7 million signed up, but right now you have 3.5 million have been kicked off. Now go to your Affordable Care Act, and we should just do more then kick the president around. It makes me sad. I'm not going to. According right. to the Associated Press, at least 3.5 million Americans Ooh. have already been issued cancellation notices from the health. 3.5 million. million. But, but, okay, but the president now said think about this. You, you like want your 7 million policy, you can keep it, right? You want 7 million signed up, but right now you have 3.5 million have been kicked off. It's about 5%. You should have known there would have been pieces on this. Yeah, the, you should have known it would have been why, really heart-wrenching. The there media, are heart-wrenching stories. Why did the media push the president more when he kept saying you could keep your policy? Oh, they're pushing him now. Now they are. May I continue? Sure. Yeah. Uh, that number is likely to go up as data from half the states remains unavailable. And the Washington Post reports in, the 20, uh, in 2010, the White House was split on how to run the Obamacare exchanges. The president's top economic advisors, including Larry Summers, wanted a health reform czar with business insurance and tech experience to run the program. But the president decided to stick with his political team. As for the website, government officials say healthcare.gov will go offline temporarily on a daily basis to fix its ongoing issues. Robert Gibbs, um, I, I want to go back to something that was said before in the Washington Post. It is really stunning that you had uh, the biggest startup ever run by somebody that had never had run a startup before or had business experience before. I mean, it, looking back, I mean, people can be scratching their heads for years going, how did they make this mistake? So how, did, how do mistakes like this happen inside the West Wing? Well, I, look, I think that's a, uh, it's a fairly devastating story. Uh, because it is clear, uh, I think there's one line in there that said no one person sort of had purview over the entire project. Uh, I mean, the results now of the, after the first month are fairly clear right. uh, yeah. that nobody was in charge of this project full time because Robert, disaster. you're a communications guy and you were there. How could the president say... And where there's a clip we'll show where he says it many, 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 many. Times. I remember I'm sure it. You've seen on New York uh, Magazine. You can keep your plan. When you know that five percent of the people, and five percent is a small. Um, obviously, it's a small part of the story, and overall, the no, no, impact, if you believe right. in this law, is better than what happens here. But it's millions of people. You know what's going to happen in the press. You know there's going to be hardships for those people. Why would you let your president say that? Well, look, I, 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 I don't recall significant discussions uh, around some of the, the verbiage on this, to be 100% uh, honest with you. But do you agree you. it was I, a wrong move? Oh, well, certainly. I mean, I don't, I don't, think, anybody, uh, I don't think anybody dealing with this today uh, finds what was said. Now, I, I do think...